Hey guys, this is Hicktown Hunting. I'm skinning out a deer, and uh, I thought it may be interesting to some of you uh, to see how I debone the hams and uh, cut the tail uh, so that there's no need for a saw uh, other than on the front legs of the deer. Uh, a couple things this is going to do is save room in your in your freezer case if you're <clears throat> out at your hunting club and you've killed several deer. Those big hams with the bones in them takes up a lot of room. So we'll go through how to cut those off. It's very simple. You don't have to take the anus out of the deer or anything. So it, it helps with a lot of time with cleaning. Uh, it's a lot cleaner to do. Uh, so we'll cut the shoulders off. We will uh, show you how to debone the hams. And then we'll show you how to cut through this tail uh, using just your knife. Uh, so stay with us. Now what I've done here is I've cut the hide all the way down the hams, down the sides almost to the uh, back straps. <clears throat> And what you can do with your knife, there's just cartilage pieces in this tail. So if you move your knife around, you can find that cartridge cartilage. And as you can see how easy that was right there that I cut through that tail. And then it just slides on down. That eliminates the entire need uh, to use a saw. Okay, we've got it skint all the way down. I've cut the... Uh, rib meat that's here, you cut it down right along the back straps, just flop it inside. And the first thing we're going to do is uh, cut the shoulders off, which most everyone knows how to do. It's the simplest part probably. Aiden, where's the shoulder? That's right. So we're going to take this shoulder off first. Pretty much just lift that shoulder out, keep your blade as close to the body as possible, and it just cuts right through. And you want to go around that shoulder blade and there's your shoulder taken off just like that. Um, this one's a little bloody from that Grim Reaper that I shot through it, so I'm gonna clean some of this blood off. I've got a refrigerator right here, stick it right in it. The other shoulder's just as easy, just cut it right off. Okay, we got the shoulders taken off. Now we're gonna take the back straps out. Now, a lot of people get confused and call these the tenderloins. These are actually the back straps. I'll take the tenderloins out in just a second. So I'm going to take these back straps out, I'll take the tenderloins out, and then we're going to debone these hams. big back strap. <clears throat> now the other thing to notice when you're processing these, this silver lining on the top, you're going to want to come through and fillet that off because that's real tough. So you'll come through, it's real thick, you'll just fillet that off before you do your slices. Now that we've got the back straps out, we're actually going to take out what is the actual tenderloin. Some people call uh, sweet meat. Um, it's the most tender part of the deer. So we'll just cut these out, follow the spine in the back on both sides. You want to clean this mess up. Uh, so now, like I said, not a large piece of uh, meat, but the most tender on the deer. Uh, there it is. Two uh, good pieces of meat. So now let's debone these hams. Now I'm just going to debone one because they're both pretty much the same thing. There are several different ways to do this. If you notice on the inside of this ham here, there's just a line of the meat. And a lot of these things, once you get it to open up, it just starts peeling off. And those are the, the top rounds and the sirloins and your roasts are in these hams. Now for me, I just cut them up into a deer burger. So it doesn't really matter to save those, but if you're doing this, then you can actually have roasts uh, instead of going to the store and buying them. You have pretty large, substantial pieces of meat. So I like to start in the front here, and I just follow this line down to the center, and you're going to hit bone. And what you're going to do is just try to follow then and cut these around. I'm going to follow inside here. Now, if you notice, I haven't cut the tail the tailbone because I'm just going to follow that around. As you 
see it just starts peeling off. And we've come on this other side, so I'm going to flip it around. Oh I'm going to cut around the tailbone here. This gets a little bit tricky because it's got some odd shapes to it, but as you see, that just falls right off. Come right back down by the tailbone, cut it all the way down the spine, and then it's just a matter of peeling all this meat off. And of course, right here is the leg bone. So at this point, I can just start cutting around this tail, this leg bone. And it's just like unwrapping the meat around that bone. Now at this point, I've pretty much got the whole thing off. I just need to peel it on around this side. So we'll come back to this side and start cutting around here. Now this little calf muscle right here in the back, I just leave it. There's so many tendons in it that it's tough anyway. So I don't even bother using that. So now in the front, we've got the leg bone exposed. And I'm just going to cut down and there's just a tendon right here once again just cut around it and there is my entire ham without all of that leg bone you can see how clean that is and so we'll have the entire spine and carcass to throw away and it's not cut up into pieces and this is much easier to cut up now if you can see this piece right here this is one of the rounds I'm talking about if I cut this right here you've got one big round piece of meat and all of these different pit parts are different parts of the deer I'm not a butcher so I don't know all of those but uh, that's it deboning your hams we started uh, we started uh, processing our own deer uh, about three years ago because the price has gotten so expensive. So deboning these things have made it much easier uh, to do. And uh, I'll just cut this up now into strips, throw it through the meat processor, and I'll have about 20 pounds of uh, deer burger. That's it. I hope uh, you learned something. If there's a way that you do it that's easier than, than this, please make some comments and leave those. Uh, we can all learn from each other. Hicktown Hunting, we're out. We're out, Aiden.